Several Wisconsin schools are facing an added challenge when it comes to virtual learning. Intruders. Stephanie Haynes explains how someone joined a class in Brookfield who was not supposed to be there. A district spokesperson says on Thursday, someone pretending to be a Brookfield Central High School student disrupted a class Zoom call. In an email, a spokesperson for the district wrote, the imposter proceeded to reveal his backside to the class and then brandished a handgun before being removed from the Zoom meeting. Something similar happened at Madison East High School this week, where administrators say someone also showed what looked like a BB gun on the class Zoom. And at Shorewood High School, a spokesperson said someone who is not a Shorewood student was accidentally let into a class this week, but was removed and nothing inappropriate was said. Tech experts say these interruptions are nothing new. Taking all the precautionary measures um, that it's possible. Um, so, you know, use a unique ID for large or public Zoom calls, for example, um, you know, require meeting passwords, um, lock a meeting once it starts. Zoom said in an email that it takes these disruptions very seriously and that it's added default security measures for its school programs, such as passwords and waiting rooms. The district says that person is not from Brookfield and no students and staff were in any danger. The district also says all the right security measures were in place. That means only students are given the link and let in from the waiting room by the teacher. But quote, the imposter used the name of one of the students in class, which which is all the teacher sees in the waiting room. Now, of course, if the scammer is, you know, using the name of a legitimate student, uh, you know, that obviously makes things more difficult. Now, Brookfield Police is trying to find out who that person was, and administrators are trying to find out if anyone could have shared any information with an outsider. In Brookfield, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News.